Yo, what's up everybody? It's David Brodeur, aka Brilly, and today we're gonna jump right into it. And I'm gonna show you how to make animated 3D dust the simplest and easiest way and best looking way with Octane in Cinema 4D. Creating the geometry is really simple. Just a couple things you want to look out for. Use a piece of geometry that can be kind of more low weight. Uh, so reduce the amount of segments because we are going to be cloning a lot. Then we're just going to add a random effector. And this is how we're going to get all of our movement. I'm going to push the X position a lot more than the Y or the Z. But this is all going to just determine, you know, what direction you want your dust to be moving in for the most part. And then I'll just make sure that my dust is oriented and facing the camera, even though it's going to be rotating, kind of spinning around. Now, the next really big thing here is using an animated noise. So if you go into the effectors tab, you can just choose between the noise or turbulence. And you can see here, I'm just messing with the speed of it, the distance of it, and they kind of go hand in hand. You'll also see that in the noise, we'll have an, an option for messing with the scale so the scale the larger it is it's going to kind of treat all the dust particles more like a group the smaller that scale is it's going to start treating all your individual particles more on an individual base so the movements are going to be more randomized on an individual level so larger the scale move them together as a group and the shading is going to be really simple. I like using a glossy material. That way we can catch a little bit of specular light. Throwing a little roughness on there is good though too. Really, again, dialing in the look has a lot to do with the lighting that you have in your particular scene as well. I'm just setting up some really basic lighting, making my background black. This is not really about the overall scene more about how the dust is going to move you know in the octane camera you do want to have your aperture up so we can get some really nice shallow depth of field and that's going to give us is more fo focused like centralized look to the dust right and so get that looked out in you can see i'm playing a little bit with the bokeh uh, again even though it's not about the final look necessarily more of just how to set this up i can't help myself now i did want to get some more z depth into the spacing as well as they don't just have to be pieces of geometry you can see here i'm using splines and these splines what i'm going to do with them is i'm going to turn them into little hair fibers that are going to be floating around with the dust as well so give some variety to that dust not doesn't just have to be like little circular discs it can be little squiggly lines uh, you can mess around with particles you can put different opacities inside the shader as well so it fades or feathers in a certain way and then i'm just going to add some geometry to them inside the cloner uh, i am also using you know an instance mode or render or multi-instance mode and so you know using the standard octane um, object tag in there with hair on is not going to work so i did need to make all the hair into geometry to get this to actually function if you just go into a standard instance mode, well, then you can definitely use the Octane object tag with the hair on there. And now you can see I increased my particle count and that's pretty much it. And you can see from the kind of animation here, um, how it just kind of really nice and smooth. This first one, uh, you know, it's going to be more in a uniform direction. And then the second one, I treated it so they're kind of moving in their own little particle world, a very turbulent air.